The trig pillar was first used in the retriangulation of Great Britain in April 1936, whereby a group of surveyors gathered round a pillar in Cold Ashby and began the retriangulation of Great Britain. In 1935, in a project led by Brigadier Martin Hotine, the Ordnance Survey decided to implement a complete new network for the whole country and at the same time unify the mapping from local county projections onto a single national datum projection and reference system. This led to the OSGB36 Datrum and the National Grid, both of which are still in use today. Triangulation is based on the most simple shape possible, the triangle, and involved the measurement of a network of thousands of triangles across the country, from which all the features of the landscape were then mapped. The pillar, or trig point it is often referred to, was devised by Brigadier Hotine and provided a solid base for the theodomites used by surveying teams. It's important not to underestimate just how big a task it was of constructing trig points, requiring teams of people to carry heavy material to build the concrete pillars, although some were made from the stone available on location. Over 6,500 trig points were built, hundreds sadly to have been lost to farming, housing developments and other causes. It was nice to see the developers of North Stowe in Cambridge, the location of the Oakington trig point, had left the pillar intact and were developing the new village around it without destroying or disturbing it. In Cambridgeshire, there were 68 trig points. Of these, one is noted as damaged, seven slightly damaged, five described as destroyed, two have been moved, 52 are noted as being in good condition, and one is listed as possibly missing, Meeple North. Meeple South will be featured in part two of this series of videos. These two trig points were constructed by the Ministry of Defence in 1958 and form part of Project Emily. It's hard to imagine a little Fenden village such as Meeple would have been a major Soviet target during the Cold War.